everyone, so I know I have been a little MIA for a while. Um, I've just been lazy. It's freezing out, which is an excuse, but it snowed and it was 10 degrees last night, so you know, we're just gonna go with that. Anyway, so I'm going away next week. I am going skiing, which I'm kind of excited about because I haven't gone away since I was little. I mean, I haven't gone skiing since I was little. But I'm not going to be uploading um, my January favorites, so this is going to be an early January favorites, and I hope you guys enjoy because I got a lot of new products for Christmas, and I am just dying to show you them, and I've been really loving every one of them, so let's get right on into it. For starters, I just purchased these today, but I just put I just took up my makeup, and I'm already loving it, and it is the Simple Sensitive Skin experts cleaning facial wipes and it's in this green packaging and what's so cute about this is i went to walmart and got it after school today and it came with a little mini one as well so when i go traveling i can take this how perfect is that and i've heard um who has this i think miss megan makeup Lindsay's sister i don't know i've seen people talk about these and read about these this is for sensitive skin and i've been using these other ones that I just don't like because they've been blowing me out and stinging. Don't get these if you have sensitive skin and it's the um, the Berkeley and Jensen ones. I don't like them at all and I really need a new face my wipes. Face wipes. <laughs> so I finally got them today and even though I shouldn't be putting in this this month but I see a big difference with this. It doesn't really sting too much but I love it and I recommend it to those who have very sensitive skin. Now, moving on to other face products, I finally purchased, I am not a guru without this, the uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It also comes in concealer form, and I am the lightest shade ivory, and it just looks like this, in case you haven't seen it, obviously I used it. And it's a little pump, and this just is an amazing concealer, I don't even use my other concealer anymore, I just put it under my eyes and I put it all over my face and blend it together and it's the perfect foundation and the perfect concealer and you know it's perfect primer all three in one so that's perfect obviously and now another thing that I haven't purchased of course the vacuum was off as soon as I start filming so I just got to talk louder you're going to hear that for five minutes because the guy's working on the house and he's almost done so Emily June talked about this and Miss Molly and 14 and this is the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, Translucent Powder, uh, Pass Powder, sorry, and I am in Fair and this looks amazing after I put on my foundation just to make it look flawless even more and I've been wearing this every day, you get any drugstore product, everyone talks about this and I love it. <clears throat> and you also want to be a beauty guru without a benefit box powder. I finally purchased one even though it is so expensive. They're $32. And I got the Benefit Coralista one. They didn't have the one I wanted which was like Rockstar or something like that. But this is just as good and I wear it every day. And it's this light pink shimmery one. I got it like two weeks ago. And this is honestly the best purchase I have made. I'm so sorry about the vacuum. I really hope it's not annoying you. Next, we're going to talk about eyeliner. Now, I got this for Christmas from my mom, and it is it came with a little set like with a mascara and an eyeshadow, I think. And it came in a cute little bag, but I love the eyeliner. I've been using this a lot, and it's the MAC Eyeliner in Feline. It's just a black pencil liner, and I have to sharpen this because I use it every day, and it's perfect for my waterline, just to put on the waterline, and it really brightens up. It's really dark. And I just love that, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. And this has been another favorite. So for lipsticks, while well, I've been losing lip gloss and chapstick, my chapstick's in my bag, but it is the EOS lip balm. You guys all heard of them in the mint one, because my lips get super chapped, and my hair is a mess. But anyway, I purchased this with my own money, and this is a MAC lip gloss in Thea Glam 5. Um, I said in one of my videos, that I tried to get the lipstick for this, but of course they sold out of it when I wanted it. And it is this nice nude with a little shimmer, and it is perfect, and I just love MAC lip glosses, and this is the Dazzle Gloss, I believe, I don't know. 
This would be a glam six. And then I've been putting that over the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue Balm that I just purchased a while ago. Um, and I don't know what the color is. Does it say it on here? It's just the like red one, but it doesn't come out red, which is what I want. I like about this. It's not too dark. It looks really dark, but once you put it on your lips, it doesn't show for a little bit. Now for eyeshadow, I only have one thing, and you guys should know what it is. Probably everyone put this in their favorites video, but I don't care. Dun 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 dun. The Naked Three palette. It is beautiful, perfect, rosy champagne colors, and I use all these. I mainly use the Strange Burnout. I did a tutorial on what I use, and I love this dark color. It is like the pretty little wires that they use, and I just love this. And it's just an amazing palette. I also have to make a two palette, but I've been using this one so much. I, this is my favorite one because it has all pinks and purples and such fun colors. Now, next is brushes. I've been, I got this set. You see it in the video. It's really cute. It's like a little purse. And I don't know who the brand, it's Real Techniques and it was on sale. And it comes with just a fresh brush, a blending brush, and some eyeliner and some little brushes to put on. And I just really like these. I needed myself some new brushes. And I got this. My friend Maggie purchased the, these as well, and she loves them. Next, I got for Christmas that I've been loving the One Direction perfume. One moment, I love One Direction, and I did just get it for that. But I also smelled it, and it smells amazing. Like I hate Justin Bieber, but the perfumes smell awful. Anyway, the packaging is amazing and super cute, and it looks like it's not a lot, but. A little goes a long way. I've been putting this on every day since Christmas. It smells amazing. Maybe I should just spray myself. It is very strong though. So if you don't like, I spray like two times. If you don't like strong scents, I wouldn't suggest it. So now for hair products. Um, as you all know that I got the keratin and I also have hair dye. So I've been using the Joyco, big huge bottle. It's bigger than my head. The Joyco Color Indoor Shampoo Sulfate Free because I need a sulfate free shampoo and there's like no sulfate free shampoos available. And this is one for a long lasting color. And I did have another bottle that's like the little size, but this is the family size. And only I use it so it will last. I just pop it in my hand and put it on my scalp and it's amazing. And then when I want to put my hair up like this, I usually do, even if it's straight or um, straight or what am, I, what am I saying straight or curly I use this I can't think right now it's the Garnier Fructis Style Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk and this is 24 hour frizz resistance because in this weather my hair does get frizzy so I just put it on and it's I put it on earlier today and it's flawless I think except for right now <laughs> And now we're going to get into TV shows. Some TV shows that I love are Pretty Little Liars. It's back on. The Fosters. It's probably just my usual that I'm going to be saying. Baby Daddy came back on. And it's just amazing. Um, One Order SVU just returned with new episodes. What else have I been watching? I think that's it. I haven't been really watching TV that much. For movies, I have gone on to the movies. A couple of times and I've been watching them on Netflix um, so go get Netflix that's like the best thing I'm not sponsored at all but it's the best thing that I my dad had bought for us and some movies that I watched is Jerk Theory which is a really cute movie I watched it at the beginning of the year um, and it's just I don't even know how to describe it it's, not, it's supposed to be romance but it's kind of like comedy into it and I usually don't go for those type of movies but that was a really really good movie and I highly recommend it and I just recently saw Paranormal Activity 5, which was awesome, but the beginning was very, very slow, which is the only thing that I didn't like. It took like an hour and a half for Paranormal Activity to actually get scary. Activity 5, um, and that's it, I believe. Oh, for fashion, I just got this sweater, and I love it. It is the Bethany Motto collection. It's so fuzzy, and... Especially since I snowed and it's a low down there. I don't know if you can see. High low type of sweater. And I've been loving sweaters. And I will be doing um, 
a winter lookbook because it's been snowing a lot and I've just been curled up in a blanket. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite TV shows or beauty and fashion favorites. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Love ya.